Hello and welcome to the Gadgets and Gizmo show on Headlines Today. I'm Siddharth Sharma. And as you can see, we've got a very big gadget on this show. Before we begin, let's tell you what's our lineup. On the show this week, I drive a car. Sahil reviews a flashy colored smartphone. And there's a new rugged, sturdy camera from Nikon. With every passing day, technology is becoming an integral part of our lives. Our smartphones empower us to perform many functions of day-to-day -day life. It makes your life easier and now it's all set to sync up with your car. This is the all-new Ford Fiesta 2014. Available only in diesel, it's a facelift of the already existing Fiesta with an aggressive grille that makes it look like an Aston Martin. The design lines of the car are bold and gives the car a superb, flashy road presence. It is also more aerodynamic now. The interiors have been kept similar to the existing model. However, what's new on this model are rain-sensing wipers, push-button start, ambient lighting and Ford's patent sync technology. And yes, it sure is good. We have seen the Microsoft Sync integrated in the Ford EcoSport before. So what is new on the Ford Fiesta? The biggest difference is AppLink. Okay. So it offers you a way to operate the smartphone applications uh, not only your smartphone phone call or music, but also the app applications. So that's a bigger difference. Please say a command. Call Anusha. Calling Anusha on mobile. You see, with only voice control, the phone just makes a call. Showcased at CES, the new Fiesta will feature AppLink to easily integrate your smartphone apps to your car. Of course, you can make phone calls and find places with voice command. Please say a command. Mobile apps. Mobile apps. Say a command. Map My India Explore. Map Me India Explore. Please say a command. Restaurants. Restaurants. Searching nearby restaurants. We've found 10 restaurants near you. First five results are 1. Nandas, 2. Zafran, 3. Chutney Chang, 4. Hint. The car sure drives smooth in city, highway, and back roads, but then again, just three apps, the time being. Alright, so now we are inside the Fiesta, the new 2014 Fiesta and it's got something called Ford Sync with App Link. Did I say it right, Drew? Yes, that's correct. So what is this all about? So Ford Sync is basically a partnership between Ford and Microsoft to bring Sync technology to the car. And, uh, this is the second generation. We saw the first one with the EcoSport, Ford Sync. Now this comes with App Link. Okay. So what does the App Link actually mean? You know, there's this, if I'm not wrong, you can now control uh, your smartphone apps sitting inside your car without touching your smartphone. Right. So basically, um, Ford Sync is a way to use voice control to navigate most of your phone functions, including calling and reading your messages, making, uh, controlling your music playback. With AppLink, what you get is that there's specific applications which have been uh, uh, extended with App Sync capabilities, and you can use. Um, sync on your car to control those specific applications. Now that is something cool but uh, there are just about three apps for it. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that's like a little low number? That's definitely true. Starting off with just three applications of which two are uh, Mapma India and there's another cool application called Glimpse. Mm -hmm. It's a low number for sure uh, but I think the onus lies on Ford to start pushing this and specifically bringing the technology to the mid-range segment uh, that should help increase the the target audience as well for it.
sync with app link for the time being has india centric apps right now such as map my india and quick info but then again they have developer program that enables indian developers to come out with cool apps that can take advantage of the app link technology one app on top of our mind self parking features such as sync and app link have been seen in high end luxury cars in the past but it sure is exciting to see such technology come in affordable sedans uh the thing is that we have phones like the moto x which have an active display on every time so i would rather not go for a 10 lakh rupee sedan buy a small car get a nice uh, cell phone holder and put my moto x over there and i can talk to the phone you just talk to the car and uh, you know the fiesta as well that's true to some extent but then again uh, i think ford's focus here is on more on security and enabling voice control navigation so that you get a simplified interface on your uh, display in the car there's no distractions and that means you have a safer ride as well Okay, but don't you think uh, Ford Sync with App Link is a bit of a tongue twister? That's true to some extent. Uh, I think it's just too long a name to get the consumer interest. Maybe Ford Sync itself will work or get something even more catchy. Well, don't you think uh, now that we have a car company also which comes out with unimaginative naming when when it comes to technology? Seriously, guys, we should definitely write a letter or something to them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? That'll be definitely. old school. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> the Ford Fiesta facelift will only be offered with a single 1.5 liter diesel engine that will churn out 89 bhp and 204 newton meters of torque. With an extra room price between 7 lakh 69 thousand and 9 lakh 29 thousand rupees. It show sure makes the all new Ford Fiesta 2014 a complete car when it comes to technology as well as driving. Now no matter how much technology you put inside the car, you still can't get enough of your smartphones you always want that big screen experience with good battery life and of course a very good camera so up next on the show we get you a review of one such device from HTC HTC is known for making beautiful android smartphones and they did not disappoint with the HTC Desire 816 as well This is a phablet with a 5.5 inch display and weighs 165 grams. The design lines are clean and the grip is a bit slippery due to a glossy plastic back finish. Desire 816 is a dual SIM smartphone with nano SIM compatibility. Overall, it has a stance of its own and definitely looks appealing. The 5.5-inch display of the Desire 816 has 720p resolution and is not that great when it comes to watching Blu-ray content on it. But the plus side is that the display is not very reflective and fairly bright as well. The color reproduction is also very good on the display of the Desire 816. HTC Desire 816 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.6 GHz quad-core processor with 1.5 GB of RAM. The user experience is lag-free and smooth. The gaming performance on the 816 is also at par with many high-end smartphones. It comes with the latest Android KitKat operating system loaded with HTC Sense. Internal storage is 8 GB which is expandable up to 125 GB.
Unlike HTC's flagship smartphone, the One M8, which has an ultra pixel 4 megapixel camera, the HTC Desire 816 sports a 13 megapixel BSI sensor rear camera with LED flash that captures crisp and detailed images every single time irrespective of the lighting conditions. There is also a front-facing 5-megapixel BSI sensor camera for selfie lovers which delivers superb performance. HTC Desire 816 comes with a non-removable 2600 mAh lithium polymer battery that is a bit disappointing as it barely manages to last an entire day. With a box price of Rs 24,000, this is one desirable smartphone as it offers a good immersive experience, a good display and a smooth performance. But if you are looking for a marathon runner when it comes to the battery, you can give this one a skip for now. And with that, it's time for us to take a very small break on the show. But you guys don't go anywhere because there's a lot more technology action coming your way on the other side. Brought to you by Ansar University, spanning decades in education.